because we're by the club area. The restaurant part is much nicer and quieter. That's the new thing out here. Restaurant, club, all in one. Catering to everyone. And it's always great to know we can come out here later for a dance. Dancing is so much fun. I love dancing. Right? Maybe when you're 21. So, you know how this whole thing started, right? It started in the Air Force. Really? Yeah. During World War II, the death rate was the highest in the Air Force. More pilots were dying than any other soldiers in the other military branches. And the Marines, and the Navy, and that's how this unorthodox thing started. Uh, it's like they were all just one big family, just, just taking care of each other. Oh. <laughs> yeah, right off the bat, I really like when movies in general, like, maybe it's not a new word to everybody, but if they are going to introduce a word or name their film something that potentially people don't know, at some point they include a definition, um, because it kind of just helps back their whole point. And so I really, I liked that just straight out the gate, you kind of knew, had some sort of idea what the film was going to be about. Um, so that was, uh, I just personally like when directors kind of like add that little, that little touch. I think it's really nice. I think it helps kind of pull the whole thing together to give just that little extra bit of background. It was a fun, oh. it, like almost examination of what maybe like a modern fairy, like not modern fairy tale, but a modern, uh, relationship would be, um, I thought it was really well done. I thought it, uh, I thought it was well put together. I think that non-traditional sexual experiences can tend to be really over-sexualized, over-glorified um, when we see them on screen. And I really enjoy getting to see the couple's decision-making process beforehand, before making that decision together, um, and the emotional turmoil that can often come along with it. Um, it was very real. I think that, that it's probably a conversation that a lot of couples have and struggle with or grapple with the idea of, you know, opening up your relationship to other partners. It was very entertaining. I really liked this couple's dynamic. Uh, the casting was amazing for this couple. I liked how they played out this very honest ambiguity with your sexual preference or uh, curiosity and it was very nice how it played out for them and um, I liked how they handled the dichotomy of dichotomy of deciding if you do this will you regret doing it or what you will regret if you do it I don't know it was I really liked that ambiguity they have to decide and they at the end they decide to be adventurous and go with the instincts instead of fear uh, I really liked it that's how I saw it I don't know but it was it was very lovely to watch. Uh, definitely an interesting look at the uh, swinging lifestyle I, I thought it was a fun little film that uh, you know definitely shines some light on a sort of culture that most of us probably aren't very familiar with so uh, for that alone i think it's worth checking out it's, it's quite a provocative uh, story of uh dealing with the taboo idea of kind of swinging and how that would affect a normal marriage and that sort of thing and um yeah it was a, it was a, a fascinating um kind of uh diving into what that might be like and what kind of emotions that might bring up and um you know, whether uh, how that sits with someone's moral compass or not, I thought it was a lot of fun and interesting to watch. Uh, an experience that was definitely open to interpretation um, and quite emotional for both parties involved. I liked the shower scene where Maya experienced her afterglow. Um, the actress was effortlessly mirroring sever several emotions um, in that scene. It kind of flickered back from bliss to guilt to euphoria again to uncertainty. Um, very bittersweet, and I enjoyed that one. Uh, Jim definitely felt guilty for going all the way, but Maya's response to him was definitely gentler than before. Um, she's like a, a, a lot rounder and uh, less rough around the edges with him. So I think that they're better harmonized now for better communication. Um, respect to the filmmakers for kind of like 
tying everything up. In Heartbeat the end. on what direction our people will go. Um, some really cleverly and realistically written lines um, about uh, tattoos and vampires uh, in this story about um, infidelity and uh, swinging couples. Yeah, I thought this story was really interesting um, and uh, complex. And yeah, the performances were really solid. Uh, it, it was shot beautifully. Like it, it looks like it, it could be like a feature film. It's uh, I feel like this is a, you know, a conflict that a lot of uh, or many couples have that I feel like it's not. Um, accurately, like the percentage of couples that have this conversation is not, it doesn't equal the amount that we see in film and TV. So it's cool to see this story told. Um, and yeah, like the sequences um, of like the kind of like ecstasy and, and sexual experiences were shot really well. I love the uh, use of colors. Um, yeah, great job.